That's a good shot. Once again, placement perfect. This is a bad delivery from Greg Blewett. This is the sort of wicket here at the SCG that if you bowl anything short and wide, it's just fruit for the boundary. What Blewett does on this occasion, in fact, it wasn't all that wide, making himself, uh, giving himself some room and looking for that gap at point. The ball coming on off this pitch and Robert's got the timing perfect. Very well run. An excellent strike rate, 93 from 112 balls. Keep me on, so you'd think that there's only going to be a single result from that sort of delivery. It's beautifully hit, and the fieldsman's made a bad uh, error of judgment. Balls hit the bottom of the fence. Darren Weber is the fieldsman out there. He started to come in and then realised he was in trouble. Probably in more trouble with the skipper shortly. Certainly will be. Uh, Wigney does give. Uh, Thompson some room on this occasion and he picked that up beautifully the drop kick off his pads as Ian Chappell mentioned Darren Webber made a run straight in obviously didn't pick it up Thompson back for a second easily tell you what he can run a bit the spot to Thompson Pretty interesting race in this side. A few blokes who can get along. Michael Bevan, I guess you'd have to have him as the favourite, but mind you, it must be quicker when you run down the middle of the pitch. I guess it's a well-worn track. Maybe it's tartan out there in the middle. They all seem to want to use it. The livers which may have gone to the boundary are being soaked up, and the, uh, the endeavour is to get just one. And he's got it the uh, mandatory punch in the air when the jockeys do it when they win the Melbourne Cup and uh, Roberts has done it now and he deserves every moment of acclaim he's receiving out there standing ovation there Wasted a couple of singles, even though uh, Thompson is very fast between the wickets, but they didn't waste that one. The field had loafed for a fraction of a second, and that was the end of it. They hadn't wanted to make a mistake with Roberts in the 90s, but here Scott Thompson identified two immediately. Wanted Roberts coming, he was. And home very safely. Beautifully played. Gillespie did the right thing. He was trying to spear it into the batsman's toes, but it was just that little bit too full. These two are the two biggest drivers in Sydney grade cricket, both Scott Thompson and Kevin Roberts. The South Australians are trying to keep it full. That's actually what the New South Wales batsmen want. If they're forced back, they're not as effective, and that's the big full bunger that was always going to go. Gillespie's looking to bowl full. Don't think he knows. That's where, don't think he knows. That's where Scott Thompson wants him to bowl. Should be well. No, it's going to beat him. I think. Got it. Good catch. The perils are being up against the fence, and it was nicely judged. A very, very good piece of cricket there. 
Brayshaw has taken the catch. Gillespie deserves the wicket. Thompson on his way back to the pavilion. A shot in the side's interest on the full front foot. Got under it a long way. That spent a lot of time in the air. And going back, Brayshaw's judged it to a nicety. Never left side of it. Kept his eyes right on it till the crucial moment. And the South Australians are very enthusiastic about that. Thompson here, he's a big smiter of the ball. He knew initially he'd got a good piece of it, but he hadn't reckoned on the wherewithal of Jamie Brayshaw. Eyes fixed on the ball, and that's a super catch. Promoted above Emery and McNamara in the order. He's the biggest hitter of that trio. So it's tactically correct that he should be there now. No time to play in. The Blues want 250 plus. 